All right, so Josh told me if I took my hat and I put it backwards, it would give more of a testosterone feel for this video. So that's exactly what I did. And today we're gonna to be talking about how if you have too little testosterone, it's really going to affect how much fat you have on your body. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so when we talk about testosterone levels and how it affects your body fat percentage, we have to really understand a few other hormones and how your testosterone production might be lower because of them. So the first thing is going to be increased estrogen. Whenever you have increased estrogen, a lot of different things are going to be happening in your body. You might have sexual dysfunction. You might have uh, this feeling of just being really, really tired. You might lose a lot of muscle mass. You might even have increased abdominal fat. So you have to look out for these type of I would say pointers are things that you can catch while seeing these issues. Next, we have increased insulin. This can have a huge effect on your testosterone, and this will be anything from craving more sugar, you see more acne on your body, or even high blood sugar, so watch out for these kind of cues. Next, we have increased cortisol. Cortisol levels are huge. They affect so many types of hormones, especially your overall metabolism. So if you're not sleeping well, maybe you're anxious, you're, you're tired, you're catching colds easily. These are all things that you need to watch out for. Okay, That means that your increased cortisol levels are affecting your testosterone. So we have to really just focus on all these different things and uh, just understand that the fact is your higher T will help burn fat faster. It just has to do with all the hormones in general. Now, uh, increased T will also boost your metabolic rate, which will increase the amount of energy you burn, and it also inhibits creation of new fat cells, which is extremely important, especially if you don't want to build any fat after you lose it all, right? It's all about the testosterone levels. So what do we need to really focus on for this change? Well, your workout schedule. How many days a week are you training? Are you only training once, twice per week? Testosterone levels will not be affected accordingly. Or how is your sleeping schedule? Are you sleeping only five hours a night? It's going to have an effect on everything. Cortisol levels, it's going to have an effect, really, estrogen levels, everything. So get good sleep in. Um, and what type of foods are you eating consistently? Is it going to be something healthier for you, not healthier for you? you know, take into account all these different things. Yes, you can get shredded pretty quickly, but can you maintain? That's the one thing that we really need to focus on. So once we're done with understanding the structure and, and just taking things more seriously in our journey or lifestyle, we need to focus on specific foods that will enrich or help your body building that incredible testosterone level. So first food I recommend eating is tuna. This is rich in vitamin D, which is also linked to increased testosterone, okay? So definitely include tuna. I wouldn't say every single day, but definitely have it every other day, three times a week, two times per week. Definitely include it in your diet. Next, we have garlic. This contains allicin. And I know it's, it's kind of like a hard word to understand, but this decreases your cortisol levels. And remember, decreased cortisol level will have an effect on your testosterone levels in general. Next is broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts. And these are all anti-estrogenic, which means they relate to a compound called indole 3 carbonyl. It's really hard to understand these words, I know, but it all has an effect. Again, if it's anti-estrogenic, that means that it's going to decrease your estrogen levels, which will give your actual testosterone a chance to spike up. Next, we have mushrooms. Mushrooms are great to include in your salads. You can saute them up. Um, really great to prevent a lot of production of a specific enzyme, which converts to androgen to obviously have an effect on that estrogen, which prevents free testosterone binding to androgen receptors. This just really means that your testosterone will be able to spike at specific times and you'll be able to build it up in general. You, you want it in a good range. You don't want all these other hormones to affect the good hormones in your body that really will help you long term, especially when you're losing all that fat. Obviously, you need to be in a caloric deficit, very, very important. But with all this information, you can definitely begin to see a rise in your testosterone levels. And surprisingly, many males have issues with this because of their cortisol levels in general and their estrogen levels. So focus on these things. Keep on working hard. Keep on moving forward. That's what I'm doing. And hey, 
If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below, hashtag calisthenics. We are a family, we're gonna grow together. Keep on moving through those negatives and keep on being positive. I love you and I'll see you next time. Peace.